Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD along with this uh, diagonal AC and this uh, segment uh, AE as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green uh, shaded uh, triangle uh, AEC such that uh, this angle uh, DAE is uh, alpha and likewise this other angle uh, BAC is uh, alpha as well. In other words, uh, these two angles are congruent and moreover uh, this uh, side uh, AB of this rectangle is uh, 50 centimeter whereas uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ADE is uh, 270 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, AEC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. And let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. Let's assume uh, this uh, height, uh, I'm going to label this one as uh, X and this uh, base I am going to label as Y. And moreover, we know that the area of this triangle uh, ADE has been given to us as uh, 270 centimeters square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle is uh, 270 is going to be equal to a half times uh, our uh, base and height is uh, x uh, times uh, y and I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 on both uh, sides and here we can see 1 divided by 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore uh, x times y turns out to be equal to 540 and now I am going to divide both sides by x to isolate y. So this x and x is gone. So therefore y turns out to be equal to 540 divided by x. So therefore I am going to replace uh, this y by this uh, value 540 divided by x uh, over here. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, side uh, AD is equal to this side uh, BC. If this side is X, uh, then uh, this B side has got to be X uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. And here in this uh, triangle uh, ABC, we know this angle is uh, alpha. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And likewise, uh, in this uh, other triangle uh, ADE, we know this angle is alpha. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore, we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and this other right triangle uh, ADE are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of these uh, side lengths uh, AB and BC is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, AD and DE. And now we can see our uh, this uh, AB side length is uh, 50 so I'm going to replace that one with 50 over here and our this uh, BC length uh, is uh, X so I'm going to replace that one with X uh, over here and now this uh, AD length uh, is X as well so I'm going to replace that one with X uh, as well and finally this uh, DE segment uh, length uh, is uh, 540 divided by X so I'm going to replace that one with 540 divided by X uh, over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, all these uh, values uh, over here. And now we are going to cross multiply. 
So therefore, x times x is going to give us uh, x square equals to 540 divided by x uh, and then times uh, 50 on the right hand side. Let's simplify furthermore. That is going to give us uh, x square equal to 27,000 divided by x. And now I am going to remove this fraction by multiplying x on the right hand side and the x on the left hand side as well. And here we can see x and x is gone. So on the left hand side, x times x square is going to give us x power 3 equal to 27,000 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this 27,000 on the right hand side. And here I have copied it down and now 27,000 I can break it down to 27 times uh, 1,000. Uh, and now we can see 27 could be written as uh, 3 power 3. And likewise uh, 1,000 could be written as uh, 10 power 3. So therefore we can multiply them out. Uh, 3 times uh, 10 is going to give us 30 and then uh, the power is going to be 3. So therefore on the right hand side uh, this uh, 27,000 could be written as 30 power 3. So therefore uh, we can write uh, x power 3 equals to 30 power 3. And now I'm going to undo these cubes by taking the cube root uh, on the left hand side and the cube root on the right hand side uh, as well. And here we can see this cube and cube root are gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be equal to likewise this cube and cube root are gone as well. So our x value turns out to be 30 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 30. And now we are going to substitute this uh, x value with uh, 30. So that is going to be 30 over here. And likewise, uh, this x value is going to be 30 as well over here. And we are going to substitute uh, x value 30 over here as well. So this is going to become 540 divided by 30. And if we simplify that thing, that is going to give us uh, 18. So thus our this uh, segment uh, DE length uh, turns out to be 18 units. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, side uh, CD is equal to this side uh, AB. If this side is 50, then this uh, CD length is going to be 50 units as well. So therefore, uh, this remaining uh, segment EC length has got to be 50 minus uh, 18. That is going to give us uh, 32 units. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ACE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times the base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, is uh, 32. Whereas the height uh, of this uh, green uh, triangle is uh, 30 units. So therefore, the area of this green shaded triangle uh, AEC is going to be a half times our base uh, is uh, 32 times uh, our height uh, is uh, 30. And if we simplify and multiply the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 480 centimeter uh, square. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, uh, the area of this green shaded triangle uh, AEC turns out to be 480 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.